Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, I did a little, I did a little stuff, as I promised. I really, actually, don't like uh, the astronaut in this game, so I gave myself more of this stuff. So now, I've got some more luck, which I like. I like being lucky. Decisionless. Right, I forgot that I named that. Um. So yeah, now I can do stuff that I want to do. Like, I legitimately want to, like... What do I do that? Yeah. I like doing this. I like doing stuff where I just, like, constantly cast on myself in order to grind. I don't know that it, do that it does anything, but I like it. You have my ear, sister. But yeah. Okay. What can I do? I turned up copies of the first two volumes from my colleagues, and I spent a little time rereading them. Okay. Main car Cameron certainly is a fascinating writer. Yes. Undoubtedly insane, but fascinating. Mm-hmm. Ah, but more to the point, it appears to me that the first word oh. of each paragraph may be significant. A message may be hidden there. I'll continue to study the problem. Come by tomorrow if you like. I may think of something else. Well... The first words of each paragraph are... <laughs> Is that my fault? I can't see the force of the trees here. Greetings, reader. Enter every night. Enter my palace. Endlessly roaring. Offering red... Offering red... Offering red drink, maybe? It's hyphenated. Whosoever finds this document, uh, who ans whosoever answers your whisper, hides and wraps. That's funny that they have both meanings of hides for this word. Hides and raptured, recorded, enslaved. Okay, so greetings, reader. Enter every night. Enter my palace. Endlessly roaring, offering red drink. So. Get at me. Well, oh, I think the letters are too. Way, where, yeah, way where is that's letters as well. So then, whosoever your whisper hides in rapture, record enslaved. So by whispering, you're hiding people. The oath. Breakers. Woe every reader. Okay, so the oath breakers are ruining it for us. That once understood Chim, he endeth starlight. Interesting. Understanding Chim will end starlight. There's a there's a very interesting um passage that I think Dagoth Ur wrote where he says, What I bring is light, what I bring is a star, when talking about how he's a false dreamer. So it's interesting that they've like almost set it at odds there. Maybe on purpose. Oh, we did that one. May I deathlessly deny all your sons under nothing. Deny all your sons under nothing. Okay. And then the letters are G-R-E-E. -E. Green. Green. M. M.M. Green. Enter my. Green E. Green Emp. Emperor. O.R. Emperor, of course. Green Emperor. Green Emperor. Answers. What? Green Emperor Way. Where to tower to tone touch green emperor way where tower touches middle where tower touches midday S U N 
Green Emperor Way, where tower touches midday. For the key, I'm sure of it. Well. You have my... Green Emperor. Green Emperor Way, where tower... This is cool. I feel like I'm doing, like, some legitimate, like, detective work. I feel like this is maybe a bit too above my pay grade for the main quest. Because this is one of those things where, like, especially if you don't, like... Or maybe maybe they translate it for other languages. I was worried about, like, speaking English might make this very annoying. There There's been some terrible... Move along. Excuse what do you landmarks the imperial palace is at the center starting in the northeast the waterfront is south of temple district carry on okay when the tower touches midday like i feel like i have figured something out but i don't something know if i'm going to be able to figure it out completely carry on you know Hmm. I will look it up. Green Emperor Way, where tower touches midday sun. Okay, that's right. Green Emperor Way is the central district of the Imperial City. Wait until midday. Okay. That was actually what I was thinking about. So in order to wait until midday, I need to wait for... Seven's going to put me in, like, what, 10-something? Okay, bingo. You have my Hello. Ears, have you ever spoken to Green Emperor Way. Cool. That's pretty... That's actually kind of cool. Again, I feel like it's it's a little above my pay grade. I don't know if I would have figured that out without um, uh, Googling, but... Green Emperor Way, when tower touches midday. Er. Oh, this is... Okay, so another hour will put us at 11. So that, well... Does this not work in the rain? Because that's kind of annoying. Tower touches midday sun. His shadow's going that way. So shouldn't the sh the tower also? Yeah. <laughs> What's your fucking? Don't know. Well, good. I didn't know anyone by that name either. Okay, that's just the dragon. Because if, if people's shadows are going this way, then that means that the tower should as well, right? Where tower touches midday. Broken grave. Huh. A day is like, what, three seconds? Or an hour, rather. Duh. Okay, 32, 33, 1, 2, 3. Okay, yeah. So that means that I have a... I can interact with this. It isn't strictly midday yet. Hmm is the weakness of having a wait by hour system. <gasps> oh my god. That's so cool. That's like that's like real questing stuff. Like wow. I mean, I had to use a little bit of a guide, but yeah, wow, that's interesting. Also, the fact that it was raining kind of <laughs> put a damper on it. I have followed the clues in the four volumes written by Manker Kermoran to a gravestone in Green Emperor Way. At noon, a map of Cyrodiil appeared on the gravestone with the Mythic Dawn Shrine marked. I need to find my way. Oh, yeah, that's a map. Awesome. 
Let's look at my map. My big map. Thank you. Oh, well. It just shows me right here. Lake Arius Caverns. Hey. Fucking awesome. That's really cool. Like, always there is a... That is... I don't know if that is as or more obtuse. Because there are... Let's be frank here. There are some fucking annoying and obtuse puzzles in uh, Morrowind, you know? Of like, hey, turns out you can actually click on that muddy shit piece of texture. You wouldn't know that. But you can. And, and you know, it's just one of those things that's a little annoying about, uh, about Morrowind sometimes. Things that you would, like, brush off and be like, well, you know, game's a billion years old and it's, you know, it changed the face and, it's, yeah, you, you know. Um, and there's only a couple things like that in, in Skyrim. Like, there's that one puzzle in, I think, Markarth, where at one point you need to pick up a charcoal and pick up a piece of paper and make a rubbing of a stone so that you can, you know, copy it and take it to someone else. And it's the only time in that game that you ever use charcoal or paper for anything, much less for making a, a, a rubbing. Um... But, like, it's a relatively clever thing, because, like... It makes you think about your... I don't know why you didn't come to where I was, but... You have annoyed me, horse. Perhaps for the last time. Okay, just gotta get up this way. But yeah, there's a bunch of stuff where like it's a uh, it's it's a very obtuse, strange puzzle that's just kind of annoying. But like, hey, you know what? This is cool. Like the way the way that we we have done it here is actually pretty cool. Oh, there's only one way off the island. This is this is an island. And wouldn't you know what? I'm at the I'm at the furthest place from the bridge. I'm not going to I'm not going to assume that my horse can swim. Might be able to, but been playing a lot of Minecraft with my wife recently cuz uh I like it. look look at the way that the horse's ears go together when you're jumping. It's like he's trying to fly. That's so silly. Woo! Okay. But yeah, kind of an obtuse puzzle, but very, very cool, ultimately. Who the hell are you? Watch out. Shady Sam. Oh, we got to go into my killing stuff. Oh, you know what? Maybe he was just attacking this wolf. Whatever, he was shady. He deserves death. Okay, now let's get the hell out of here. Hey, what's up, enslaved captured horses? Bet you wish that you were a free horse, like my horse, who has to cart my fat ass around. <laughs> Count yourselves lucky that I'm not breaking your legs. Pulling your ears up. Maybe that's how you make him jump. Maybe you have to, like, tug the ear, you know? You know when you're a kid and, like, your dad gives you, like, horsey rides or whatever, and you're like, and I'll steer him using his ears, and you, like, yank on his ears? That's, like, excruciatingly painful. I never thought about it, like, how much, like, you can hurt a guy by yanking on his ear. 
there's this um Alaska I think it's Inuit um this Inuit tradition where like they have this game where you pull on each other's ear in order to like I think you like strip to the waist and it's really cold outside because it's Alaska and you're the Inuit people um and you just pull on each other's ears which is like a notoriously painful thing and it's also cold and it all like the whole thing sucks but it's a it's a way to test how 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 hard you are how tough you are Anyway, yeah, that's all. There's this thing that I've been thinking about where, like, think about how good a game like Devil May Cry does combat, you know? But combat's the only thing in Devil May Cry. Um, like, there's not that much puzzling, especially in, like, 5. Uh, and the puzzles aren't even that good in the older games. Um, and there's not too, too much exploration. Um, but DMC is about combat, and the combat is good. So then, consider something like Oblivion. The nature of a big RPG like this is that you don't settle down and focus on one thing. And I'm just thinking about that. Is that right? Is that a way to make a good game? Should you focus on... Because if you make a game where, like, okay, look. This game's about fucking farming. That's all we get. And so the farming in that game is probably going to be really good. Because it's ever, it's only it's the only thing that they spend time on. But in another game, you know, you got farming and combat and exploration and building. And, like, well, by splitting yourself, have you made those things less good? Like, for example, Minecraft has far similar, uh, simpler, I should say, farming um, elements as opposed to something like Harvest Moon or uh, Stardew Valley. You know, Minecraft has, has a way simpler farming setup. And so, like... But the thing is, the simplicity might make it more fun. Because some people might consider a game that is all about farming to be too granular and kind of annoying as a result. <laughs> um, What the hell? What are you? Imp. Like, oh, I fought these things, haven't I? Aren't they in, in Oblivion? The Deadlands, I think. That's the name of it. Are they just... Are there just... I, I feel as if I'm going to say something funny here, but, like, are there just Daedra on the roads in, in Cyrodiil? Like, just... Sorry, I'm having a moment... <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if there's like a random encounter system. I know I think Skyrim has like a, a a sort of random encounter system. Like, you know, it's not like a Pokemon thing where it's like, oh you stepped on tall grass, here's a here's a here's a Radita, you know, but like at some points the game will just say, Oh, a dragon will swoop by now and the player can run or fight. Or um uh like, we'll put a bandit behind this house so that when the player walks by, the bandits will attack, you know? It's not like a thing of, like, you know, they'll just pop up and appear randomly, but it is a thing where, like, they'll just, you know, they'll give you some. Just so you have, like, a, a something to do and you have a, a various uh, a journey when you're going places. But yeah, I guess Daedra can randomly appear on the roads. The Gerald Mountains. I think I was in the Gerald Mountains. Yeah, because here's because here's Cloud Ruler and here's Bruma. Interesting that both of these uh, warring factions would have their their bases here.
I've been thinking about like making clips of this series. Like I know that like you can do like a like a like a clip thing. But like I would love to just upload a video called Oblivion Jump Scare and just like the first time that anyone talks to me and like they talk at me with their like weird gross fish face and fish face. Pardon moi. Um and like the way that the camera zooms in. Like I actually I actually jump back a little bit when that happens and like I think it would be funny to upload a video called Oblivion Jump Scare and it just me talking, shooting the shit, and then someone, you know, in that in that classical Bethesda style that you get. It's also in Fallout 3 and in Fallout New Vegas, but it's a lot better in those games, I will say. Oh, yeah. Nothing like climbing a mountain in an Elder Scrolls. Forcing your horse or your stupid feet to go up at a strange, awkward diagonal in order to get over things that they never intended and occasionally jumping um to finish what i was talking about earlier uh oh no mountain i just wonder if it's a thing of like is the right thing to ooh hello pigskin shoes nothing venison corn Some guy's going to starve, but you know what? Should have tied this up, put it away. Will I kill my horse in one hit? No, I won't. And it even increases my skill. Food for thought. I guess this is up north, so it's getting close to Skyrim. Although I will say, the the south part of Skyrim... What the fuck? That looks so evil. Is that where I'm going? You didn't think it was there, guys? I guess no one comes up here, but... God, that is so evil looking. Okay, now if we wait, does your health come back? It absolutely does. I smell an exploit. All right, let's get on with it with the quest. Um Okay. Where are we going? Um, yeah, just to finish up what I was thinking about, like, are we close actually? Wait, no, this is totally different. How did I get up here? It's closer to Chaden Hall. Well, if we're here, I may as well go in, right? Frostcrag Spire. Yeah, I totally just thought that this was the way that I was going. Oh, I have the key, I guess. Oh, is this a is this a DLC thing? Okay. I've learned everything that I can purchase. I've learned that I can purchase everything to restore this place from Arlen Way at the Mystic Emporium in the Market District of the Imperial City. As I pen this, I gaze upon the walls of my home. Remember. Okay, this is. Okay. So is this like a player house? Like is this is this just a particularly good player house? Oh, it's getting cool in here. Yeah, okay. This must just be a player house. Whoa. Radical. Creepy. What is this, the basements? 
We can see stuff through there. Spire Vault. This one goes to the living area. Oh my god, it's a little, like, terrarium or arboretum of, like, of hell. And this one is, like, this one is the swampier areas. Oh, I've over-encumbered myself, haven't I? Yep, sure have. I guess if this is going to be a player house, I can dump stuff on the floor. Sorry, I got so loot happy. Portal to the Gerald Mountains, portal to the main level. Whoa! Mages Guild. Oh, these these are all portals to the Mages Guilds. Of course. Will I die if I... Oh, I certainly will. Oof. Cool. Interesting. Okay, so... Where am I going? Lake Arius. Which is near Chadenhall. Bruma, Kvach, Arcane, Chadenhall. Okay. But yeah, it's cool to see the little, like, fantasy arboretums. But you can't go back the other way. That's unfortunate. I, I'm de Knowledge is the key to success. Train me in alteration, eh? We'll see. Take care. Yes. Knowledge is power. Farewell. What are you? Stop. Then pay with your blood. All right, enough of that. It looks like you can't pickpocket your gold because I paid yes. way more than she had. Knowledge is power. Take care. Um, that's okay. Can I see about I'm somebody? Tripped. We don't. My I. I I don't need your life yeah, story, I dude. I literally don't. Oh fine. yeah. All right. All right. All right. Open easy lock. Wait. Hold on. Okay. Summoning. Burdening. Ease burden. Interesting. Electric shell, flash bolt. I think I have that one. Heal major wounds. That'll be useful. Heat shell is irrelevant. I'll grab this just because. Maybe I can upgrade it to something better. I don't know. Is that something that I can do? Come back. Bye. Okay. Yeah, so I guess that, that must just be a, uh, a DLC thing. I've only heard about... Because everyone talks about the Shivering Isles and they mark out about it and they're like, Oh, it's so fucking good. Oh, you wouldn't believe how good the Shivering Isles is. Um... Go ahead. Yes. But you don't sell me anything? You're useless. Ugh. What can I do? She looks like Fairy Godmother. Bye. From from Shrek, the movie. What can I be seeing you? Okay, 
let's just do a little experimentation here. It's all over. Then pay. Okay. Maybe I need somebody with less health. Or maybe I just didn't do enough. I like how you slowly long draw the katana out. Nice and edgy, you know? Let's see how many people I can kill. Am I supposed to be impressed? It's I, I find that it's often a, a good way to ascertain one's level of, of strength, you know? Yeah, drink that in. Blocking with your hands is kind of dumb when the guy has a really sharp sword, isn't it? Your killing's been observed by forces unknown. Oh, cool, my light armor went up. What's this guy got in him? Nothing. I break the law on my watch with. Then just do it again. Why not? Nice spin, dude. You look like an asshole. Um, well, that was fun. Uh, I did a little exploration, um, and I found that thing. I think that I will continue, uh, this next time because it's been the, the loose 30 minutes that I typically try to stick with. Um, but I'm an Alfred. This has been Oblivion. I hope you had a good time. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming. Bye.